People keep saying electric trucks, electric semis, they'll be hard to charge. That'll be a big problem. Well, actually, when you look at this technology, you'll realize one thing. That, my friends, is that electric trucks may never even need to stop to charge. Hello, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you here. Welcome back, everyone else, if you're new. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. We've done more than two and a half thousand videos since we started this channel less than two years ago. And based off that work and that research, I'll be at the Fully Charged show in March next year in Sydney. I'd love to see you there. I'll put a promotion code for a 10% discount on tickets to the show. I'll also be in London in April of next year, and I'll be in San Diego next year as well. I'd love to meet as many of you as possible. In fact, I'm very excited to meet as many of you as possible at those shows. So make sure you come along. It's going to be really exciting. All the new technology is going to be there. Car companies are going to be there. Tech companies are going to be there. This is the biggest electric vehicle show in the world, period. I have to say, I did not expect this to happen, but it appears as though uh, the Autobahn in Germany is being electrified. I mean, what does this mean for the future? What does this mean? It means at some point in the future, and cars can just drive down the Autobahn and be charged whilst they are driving. Seriously, this is not a myth. This is not some kind of pie in the sky, fanciful idea. It's actually real. Eurovia and Electrion have announced their second joint project called EM Power on the German Autobahn. Clean Technica says that the partnership will provide a one kilometer section of the Autobahn in Northern Bavaria with Electrion's wireless electric road system, ERS technology. Eurovia is a subsidiary of V. INCI construction and is one of the world's main transportation infrastructure construction and urban development companies. It has expertise in transport infrastructure, roads, motorways, railways, airports, and light rail systems, to name a few. This is not some sort of niche little company. When they say they're doing something, they actually do it. This partnership was created in 2021 with the first inductive solution completed in Karlsruhe for the promotion and construction of in-road charging systems in Germany. Both companies believe EV charging is central to the development of electric mobility solutions and have created this partnership to advance EV charging infrastructure. The EM Power project is a major step toward decarbonizing transportation in Germany and ultimately the world, said Dr. Andreas Wendt, CEO of Electrion Germany GmbH. We look forward to collaborating with the consortium partners and joining forces with our partners from Eurovia. Following our past successful projects together with the consortium, Electrion is charging forward towards mass production and deployment capabilities. In other words, they plan on mass producing this technology and putting it underneath roads like the Autobahn where they've already started. And that could mean electric trucks and electric freight won't even need the mega charging solutions that are already being deployed. The EM Power project is part of the Electromobile program that is supported by German Autobahn GmbH and funded by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. The project began in July, 2022. So not that long ago with 7.5 million euros in funding and includes integrating Electron's wireless electric road system technology into the one kilometer section in northern Bavaria. So they've done this in a one kilometer section of road. But of course, if it works, which it sounds like it does, they're going to build it out in many different roads around Europe. The electric road system technology directly integrates into the roadway, allowing contactless transfer of energy to driving and stationary vehicles. So literally, cars and vehicles, trucks, can charge whilst they're driving. This is insane. After the successful construction of the first inductive solution in Karlsruhe in 2021, the next project will highlight the ERS on a much larger scale and use new construction techniques to decrease building costs and duration. The EM Power project will serve as a demonstration that will support the deployment of future large scale projects. Now, all that will need be needed will be investment from other companies, from countries, and companies saying, you know what, we want this technology, it works, we've seen it works in Germany, you guys are using it, 
We want to do it too. I think this will happen. To enhance the scalability of Electrion ERS, several partners are assisting in the efforts, which include the Institute of Friedrich Alexander University, the Institute of Nuremberg Institute of Technology, and various other companies, including VIA GmbH. Now, all of those companies have given investment into this as they believe that this is the future of the electric vehicle industry. The future of this, the future of the world, is not even needing to stop for charging. We'll just be driving along and our car will be charging as we drive. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be installed on just any random road. They'd only install this kind of technology on roads where cars are constantly on. So it's very easy to find out where cars are using roads a lot, where those roads are being used by, say, potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of cars every week. That's where they'll install this kind of technology, where it's most needed. Electrion was recently awarded the winner of the V2i Innovation of the Year for this technology in the third annual Autotech Breakthrough Awards program conducted by Autotech Breakthrough for its work on its electric road system technology. Now, some people believe this won't work and it's not a solution, it's not realistic. The only thing is what I'd say to those people. Remember when the first solar panels came out? You probably don't, you probably weren't even born. They weren't very good. They were insanely expensive. In fact, they were about 500 times more expensive than solar panels today and they're extremely inefficient, about 30 times less efficient than what solar panels are today. Sure, this may not work on a mass scale within the next 12 months, but this technology will get better and better and better and better. The efficiency will improve, the costs will improve, and eventually, at some point, it will be deployed in the world's busiest cities and on the busiest roads. The truth is, wireless charging is here now, and it's performing well. And although it may not be cost effective in a lot of situations, eventually it will be. There's really no technical reason why it can't be made to work for vehicles in motion. Now, remember what the pessimist said to the entrepreneur? He said, when he heard of the entrepreneur's ideas, I've got five good reasons why it won't work. Now, some people are saying this is a solution, searching for a problem, given the ranges we have, and we're getting out of electric vehicles today let alone what we'll see in 10 years. That's a pretty good point. Electric vehicle ranges are massively increasing. However, remember, road freight needs a huge amount of batteries in order to drive a long way. And cars do sit almost stationary period in a lot of cities around the world. And it's those places that might benefit from this technology the most. It actually could work. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.